All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 28. All right. So strings have a replace method, which allows us to replace characters in the string with another string. The replace method takes two arguments. The first is the character sequence to replace. This can be either a string or a regex pattern. And the second is the string to replace that sequence with. For example, this would replace all instances of L with one, okay? So we would have hello right here dot replace, and then we would say any uh, instance of L. So we've got the global search flag and it's looking for the Ls. Uh, so it'll find this one or and this one, and it will replace those with one right here. If the G wasn't there, it would only take this one, or if this was just a string, it would only take this one as well. Excuse me, this one as well, all right? Uh, so let's go over to the MDM page and read it again. Uh, I just think it's a it explains it just a little bit better. The verbiage is a little more um, understandable, in my opinion. Uh, so let's uh, come over here and we we'll are look at this and it says the replace method of string values returns a string with one sum or all matches of the pattern replaced by a replacement. The pattern can be a string or a regex and the replacement can be a string or a function called for each match. So we could also replace it with a function. We'll probably, we might do that in this one, I don't know. Uh, if the pattern is a string, only the first occurrence will be replaced like we said on the, at the uh, example. Uh, and the original string is left unchanged. All right. So that being said, what we're going to do is use our regex to replace all instances of plus, minus, and space in str with an empty string, and then we'll return the value, right? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say return, and we'll do uh, str.replace, all right? So it's just like this. We've got the string.replace, and then we've got the... Uh, parentheses and inside here we're, we've already got the regex made so we don't have to uh, cook up any regex in here we'll just say regex thusly and then we'll have a comma and we'll have the empty string like that right so it'll just find any of these and it'll replace it with nothing right so that's basically what's going to happen so let's uh, check the code looks good and submit it all right now we're on to step 29 and we'll see you next time.